welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. Uh, Dave, as you recall, has been making occasional appearances on the Media Zone, but is uh, assuming a more full-time role now. Yes. <laughs> and what did you say? What goes around is old and new again. Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't like know that. what I said. What's new is old. What's new right. is old again. What's old is new again. Something of that. Effect. Yeah. Has uh, I don't know. Does it, people even recall my original duties way yeah. back in the? Do you remember what year we the media zone started? I, that I, I can't say. Ninety five. Right. Was I right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't last much longer after that, did I? <laughs> you were on for what? I don't know. What do you years? think? A year or two? A year or two. It's been 12 years since I've had a regular <laughs> spin. <laughs> and then Michael came on right. for a long run, and uh, the past uh, few months or so, he's just he's been pooping out. And I see I was going to point over his, uh, <laughs> he hadn't touched his oh, okay. prop uh, closet over there in many a moon. But so, he's, he's lost interest. Is that what you're saying? Dave? He's lost interest. Uh, How do you do it? In performing. Oh, I've been <laughs> revigorated or invigorated. Well, re revigorated? With, as we're going to see later on, uh, we can do more and faster with computer editing. Wow. Now, which we just uh, came into a year ago. Now, tonight we're going to look at Public Enemies and Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Before that, Ed. Yes. I need to discuss something. Okay. What have do you, you have you been following at all? I know you at home have. <laughs> Our fine uh, Senate here in Albany. Uh, it's a circus over it's there, from what I see. I'm not up on the, the whole details, but I know two guys flip sides. Right. Well, Ed, you have these two Democrats. You have Montserrat and Espada. Mm -hmm. Okay. They jump ship, join uh, joining the Republicans, and attempt to wrestle control away from Malcolm Smith, who, as we all know, he's useless. And, and, and some might argue that Espada was unhappy with the pork allotment, you know, the money that they get for their special projects. Yeah, they were upset about something. Right. And, and, and that would be uh, part of the reason for his rogue act, you know, but uh, I think the reason here is a little consequence. First of all, the fact that Tom Golisano and Al Sharpton, you mm -hmm. get those names involved, that ought to straighten anyone's nappy hairs. I mean, that's, <laughs> oh, Jesus. that's a problem right there. Golisano and Sharpton. Well, what's even more alarming is that Montserrat has admitted to having some mental uh, issues. Uh -huh. He has admitted to this, and he's currently under indictment, Ed. Did you know that? I didn't know that. He's no. under indictment for violently slashing his girlfriend. I think it's his girlfriend. I don't think it's his wife. But anyway, mm -hmm. now, of course, you know, I don't know how we can get out of that situation. If he gets it down to uh, a misdemeanor, he can stay in the Senate. Uh -huh. But if he's convicted of a felony, he's out. Mm -hmm. So that could be a problem. Now, uh, we all know about the, the, the ensuing court battle that's going on. That's paralyzed the Senate from performing their uh, legal duties. They, they're fighting like two little bullies in a playground. Uh, the mere suggestion that they're acting in the best interest of New York State, as we all know, is preposterous. They're all saying that. Oh, we got to get back to the business of the people. Does anyone recall the last time they've actually done business with the people? These statements made by Skelos and company that they want this resolved so they can once again get back to working for the people is a joke simply because they've never been working for the people. This has always been about control, right. power, and the what's in it for me mentality, which is what these guys have, and that's the way it's been uh, for decades. Now, Patterson comes out and feigns anger at Albany's dysfunction. Yeah, Patterson is about as useless as deodorant on Christina Aguilera. I mean... Oh, oh, what? What? You're going to have to explain that well, reference. You, know, you haven't heard the statements about Christina Aguilera? You know, no. She's, she's a little sweaty. Is that what it is? Yeah, she's a little sweaty. Okay. She's not smelly, though. Well, I think she gets a little smelly when she sweats. Oh. So I don't think, you know, deodorant really helps her no, much. No, that's too bad. But anyway, you have an as inept leader as you have in Patterson, you have to set the bar extremely low. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, that, that can lead to disappointment, as we all know. This entire situation is a sham, it's ludicrous, it's pathetic. Now, Ed, as we sit here, simple housekeeping bills, non-ideological bills that don't require these people to actually fight and, and vote along party lines. Uh. They're, they're just not getting passed. These are essential bills. They can't be passed because of this ridiculous stalemate. You know, these have to do with bond issues and sales tax being collected and, you know, Goofy Skelos, first of all, he wants to be the guy um, that's acknowledged as majority leader before any work commences, which is why the Democrats won't come back. You know, it kind of makes sense. They're not in there, right? No. They're not coming. There's one guy sitting in there. Isn't that the, one right. of the turncoats? Yeah, so it makes it 31-31. <laughs> so yeah. no vote is going to get passed because of these clowns. Now, they did manage, of course, to meet and discuss their uh, their pay. And interestingly, interestingly enough, that managed to get passed, so they're still getting paid. <laughs> 
Don't know how that works, but they managed to do that. And remember, folks, we don't have a lieutenant governor. <laughs> so the next one in line for lieutenant governor is the majority leader. So if it's Skelos, <laughs> that's the next guy. And we all know, people say, lieutenant governor, who cares? Mm -hmm. Well, look what we got. <laughs> look what happened. Look what happened to us. <laughs> but these guys won't work. They won't come into work in that beautiful building they work in, Ed. Yeah. That beautiful building. But I'll tell you, here's something. Uh-oh. Where I go every day, Ed. You <laughs> okay. might want to hold these pictures up. Okay. All this right. is where I go to work every day. Can we zoom in on this, please? <laughs> I have a feeling I have similar <laughs> pictures I could bring in. <laughs> There's where I go every day. You see down here, Ed? This is, this is, where, where's the, where are you? This is all water from rainstorms pouring into the floor. You see how the reflection off the windows, Ed? This is inside? This is inside. <laughs> this, is, this isn't the porch or no, anything? No, Out here is the porch area. Okay. This is inside. I'm on the fifth floor. I'm, <laughs> I'm on the top floor, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm on what you, what, what do you call that? The honeymoon suite? The, the uh, whatever you want to call it. The penthouse. The penthouse. This is where I work. This okay? is the fifth floor? Yes. Okay. Water pouring in. It rained last night. Oops, I hope we don't have to wear our hazmat suits and scuba gear. Okay, Ed, next well, picture. Is that a refrigerator? What is the white thing? No, that's thing? a file cabinet. <laughs> so the files are probably soaking okay. up. The... Here's the next one right here. As you can see, these are the buckets holding all the water dripping from the ceiling. <laughs> these are more buckets for drips, and this is a fan to help dry the carpeting. Those are recycling buckets, too. I'm yes. sure all the recycling is getting sopped up well, there. Well, we try to keep them empty because we know they're going to fill, be filled with water. This right here, this area here, is where I sit. That's your desk. This is there. my desk. Oh, that's bad. That's a mold hazard it's with a, that. It's, uh... it's, it's an issue. Next, next picture, Ed. <laughs> okay. Here's a better shot. Oh. This is it. <laughs> this is my work area covered up in case it rains. <laughs> Here's the bucket filled with water. Oh, no. And this, of course, is just wet carpeting. That's, okay. that's your desk this there? This is my desk. With wet, this is bad, Dave. you got to do something. Wait a minute. This is bad. The Senate won't come to work in that beautiful building. I come to work for this. Oh, God. Next picture. I only got a couple more here. You know, I've been complaining about the temperature in my building. <laughs> I'm going to say it's looking pretty good. Okay. Up here is this tarp they put up. <laughs> Catch the water so it works <laughs> down these tubes into the big filled bucket we saw earlier. Oh, that's a tube? I was hoping that was an electrical wiring. No, that's, just, that's the tube where the water will drain out and drip down. <laughs> this is, of course, all the open ceiling because the wet tile has have, have crumbled and fallen to the ground. More has, tarp over here. Has the, in quotes, union been made aware oh, of any yes. of this? I hate oh, to say. yes. And they're too busy planning the next uh, picnic, uh, probably, right? I don't know what it is, but they know. Next picture, Ed, we got two more. Two more? I think this, might, this is what it's called. <laughs> oh, oh, the they... thing on the ceiling actually is a leak diverter. <laughs> Call 1 800 Hot Hogs or go to www.newpig.com. Oh, Jesus. Here at New Pig at One Pork Avenue in Tipton, <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pig. <laughs> This is the actual name of the diverter. I can't mm. believe there's there's actually a company uh, making. Well, there must be enough bad buildings that oh, they're... I don't know. And the, and the final picture, they finally got rid of the little uh, tarps oh, and no. replaced it with the big 12 by 12 monstrosity. <laughs> and they were going to run this tube across the ceiling, across the hallway into a slop sink. Oh, but they no. realized that the gravitational pull oh. was too much and it wouldn't work. Now, Ed, has anybody thought about going to Home Depot and getting some roof cement or something and slapping it on whatever's causing the problem? Uh, we, it, apparently, now I've only worked in this office a little over a year, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's been happening ever since I've been there, but apparently oh. this has been an ongoing situation for 15 years, off and oh. on, mostly on lately, <laughs> and we get uh, these floods in our office in the penthouse suite. Now, I go to work every day, Ed. Mm -hmm. I earn my pay, <laughs> but the Senate... Oh, Can't go to work in that beautiful building, mm. which I'm pretty certain does not leak.